I just can't express myself in English. How can I express myself more in English? Calm English with Sabrina. So, I am declaring August and maybe even part of September as my month of helping you to express yourself more in English. I'm going to do videos and uh, I'm going to write articles for you all about this topic. Today I want to help you express yourself through writing. So I know that expressing yourself and this challenge of I just want to express myself in English what you're talking about here is talking, okay? So talking in English, being able to come up with the right words at the right moment and just being able to speak fluently. A lot of my students want to be able to express themselves just like how they express themselves in their native language. So I'm going to share this exercise with you that you can try on your own to help you start get into an English mindset. So you're going to start thinking more in English. What I want you to do is to get out a notebook or you could even start taking notes on your iPhone or your smartphone. You could use any of those little note apps or any writing app or you could even start a little journal in a Google document. For the kind of journaling that I'm going to ask you to do to work on expressing yourself more, you don't have to write like, Dear Diary, today I saw a boy I like. Okay, we're not, we're not talking about that sort of diary journaling. Although if you do want to write like that in English, that's great. What I'd like you to write is write down as close as possible the way that you speak. So use as much casual English as possible as you're writing in your journal. And I want you to start really small. So you will give up on this task if you say, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to write in my journal for an hour every day. It probably won't last very long. But if you say, all right, I'm going to write three sentences every day, that's so much easier. It's something you can do as, as, you're, as you're eating your breakfast in the morning. You can just have your smartphone there and just write down a few sentences. I want to give you some prompts that you can start to think of, some things that you can start writing about that will help you practice your conversational English. So you can just write about, if you're writing at the end of the day, you can write about what you did today. So imagine that you're calling your friend and your friend says, hey, oh, good to talk to you. Uh, uh, anything new going on? What would you say to your friend? Write down exactly what you would say, but just write it down. So you could say, yeah, I have this big project at work. We're working really hard on it. Oh, I, I, I really want to take my, my son to the park this weekend. Use casual English like that in your journal to talk about what's going on in your day. I also want you to write in casual English. So instead of writing, I'm going to which is written English, write down, I'm gonna go to the park this weekend. It's a way to practice more casual English so that when you go to express yourself, when you go to speak English, you'll have that word in your mind. Another word you can change, another phrase you can change is if you write down, I want to, you should write down, I wanna. Okay, something else that you can write in your journal. You can start to ask yourself, what do you want? So just answer this question. What do you want? What do you want in your life? You can write down two or three sentences every day about what you want. Another really good journal prompt is to write down 
three things that you are grateful for. And you can even write down the same things over and over again, because those are the things that you're grateful for. So you could say, I'm grateful for spending time with my husband. I'm grateful for my current job. I'm grateful for having this house that I live in. Whatever you're grateful for, just write down a few things. And that could be your whole journaling exercise for the day. Make it short so that you can keep doing it, so that you can start to express yourself more when you go to speak, when you go to talk about these things that are going on in your life anyway. If you write them down, then you'll be able to talk about them and express them better when you go to speak about them. If you want to learn more about speaking and reaching fluency, I have a mini guide that I've put together with the top five tips for improving your spoken English. So there'll be a little thing popping out on <laughs> this side or this side, and you can click on it and it will take you to the mini guide that you can just download and you can start to improve your spoken English with these best tips that I've put together. These are things that my most successful students do and this is what I have done in the past to become fluent in other languages as well. I'm Sabrina at Calm English. Make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss any of these updates on how to express yourself more in English.